A class is a blueprint from which an object is constructed. It can also have a few things of its own that don't become a part of the objects it creates, but mostly it's the detailed definition of an object. A class is to an object as a blueprint is to a house. With houses, you can use one set of blueprints to build a lot of houses, and you can use one class to build a lot of objects. Things defined inside the class are said to be members of the class. When an object is constructed from the class, the things defined in the class that become part of each of the objects are known as members of the object. The members can be the data items that hold the definition of the object, and they can be methods that are used to do things to the data. But remember, they are blueprints for these items. They are made of the instructions for building these things for each object. There are a few data items and methods that exist without the creation of an object of the class. These are known as class data items and class methods. They're a bit special and you can use them to do some special things. And even though they're used a lot, they are really the exceptions. I'll be showing you some examples of this later. Now don't get the two confused. Classes and objects are very different things. It's a common mistake to get the two confused, and if you do, you'll become more and more confused as time goes along. Just remember that a class is the blueprint or the specification from which you build objects. When you're writing Java code, you're writing class definitions. They only become objects later while the program is running.